hi what's up how is it going in today's video we are going to be designing uh you know roll up in corridor x7 you know actually we are going to make use of these images all these images were downloaded in freepay.com go to freepay.com and uh you know download your complementary you know uh cards then the model is uh what's it called uh, a model holding you know complementary card was definitely you can find something like this you know and again there is this thing that you can find in that site in fipi.com a background remover you can actually you know remove your background right from the side then you bring it all up to your uh, corridor to uh, maneuver so without further ado let's step into it so right now what we're going to be doing is to head over to create your uh the shape of a roller banner which is actually like this actually it's very but uh let's just you know work on this as it is so right now what we're gonna be doing is to bring all the the first thing is to bring the model you know up front so as this right now what we're gonna be doing is to go ahead and create you know a sharp background for that mind you when dealing you know uh when designing yourself to really you know pick some colors out of the you know images that as you are provided so right now head over to your what you call uh color eyedropper to sample this blue color right here then point you know on the uh object that i created so right now what i'm gonna be doing is to just you know pull this up then what we're gonna be doing is to maneuver you know this image right click then convert to curve so right now what we're gonna be doing is to just you know pull this all up then go ahead and right click convert to curve then pull this pull it down a little bit good so what we're gonna be doing now is to make a copy same title with the previous one so right now the top one is what we are going to just you know uh you know pull it all up you know a little bit so that it to it to uh be a little bit you know uh you know up you know the previous one so right now what we're going to be doing is to just you know change the color of the upper one to let's use our color upper two sample this yellow then point on the object so set the outline to white by right clicking on this portion right here automatically it will appear the outline so right now mind you what we're going to be doing is to set this you know object behind the previous object so all you need to do is to hold ctrl key on keyboard then you tap on put down on your keyboard automatically it set that behind you know uh the objects so right now what we're going to do is to bring in you know the trace in the machine so right there so control page up then let's reduce it to bits you are so let's make a reduction a little bit so what we need that to do right now is to pack this into the background so hold out key select the uh, image then I just just like so nice one so right now what we're going to be doing is to bring all the complementary cards control page up then the second one control page up then you would use it a little bit so because of all of this so what we need to do is to change the background of the you know model let's use a uh, you know yellow nice one control page down so behind so right now let's make this white can you see that so what we need to do right now is to just position all the cards you know right here let's add the model for equipped then let's adjust it you know a little bit to to the uh right then let's position the cards right here so position this as well make a reduction to that a little bit likewise this a bit so let's just you know make it to be side by side 
so mind you what we're gonna be doing now is to just you know give a shadow select the both you know images both images then apply shadow to it with the help of our shadow tool let's go ahead and make this you know 90 then go ahead and make this you know, five so let's actually lessen this down a little bit make it 70 i think that's nice so let's go ahead to arrange then locate you know break four objects selected you know apart automatically breaks then group it all up again nice one so let's back with that then hold out key select the image close the out key and adjust to fit in just like so good so right now let's bring the uh test so let's make that white control page up let's make a reduction good so go ahead and change the font to futurati then let's go ahead and make a uh, arrangement to that cut that off right from here control hex then control v to paste so let's bring this down a little bit then let's lay emphasis on this so let's put in it all up good nice one go ahead to your what you call shape tool close the tracking a little bit then let's go ahead and hit ctrl k to break it into pieces so so what we needed to do right now is to lay emphasis on all of this so let's make this you know yellow then go ahead zoom up so what we're gonna be doing now is to have this seven folder hit control k to break it into pieces then let's have this to be at the top of each other then let's make it a bit wider nice one so give it left alignment then let's have the seven to be here change the font size of the uh, seven so right now what we need to do is to just let's combine control hell then let's position that like so so my view what we're gonna be doing is to just you know uh let's create a magic right here use your uh, interactive field tool which is this so drag so let's double click the middle then we're gonna have to make this grayscale so let's pull this down a little bit then pull this up to have a crazy effect right there can you see that so what we need to do is to set the outline to white then let's go ahead and have that hit f to f a dialogue pops up then let's change thickness to one then check on bind view check on grid scale with object then hit ok there you have that nice one so let's zoom up so right now we're going to be doing so i drag that on top of the other form copy your property automatically you have that nice one so likewise this copy your property so all we need to do is to just make a reduction actually uh just like so good round corner electric round corner and all of that so what we need to do right now is to go ahead let's give this you know uh, select your shape tool and create the tracking a little bit to have it space up right there good nice one likewise this then let's go ahead and just add the seven to be yellow good so move it closer to that nice one good give it let's give this uh, gradient effect to the help of interactive field too so let's make the down part a little bit you know gold golden yellow nice one so likewise the seven good so let's have this to be another color position it all up then let's just uh make this a bit bigger 
then let's paste in it all up so that we can have a breathing space in between all of that do likewise this a little bit up nice one good nice one so let's give it you know left alignments likewise this a little bit down a little bit backward good nice one so so what we needed to do right now is to just you know select all of this Ctrl G then let's go ahead and apply you know shadow to that with the help of our shadow tool right there drag down then let's go ahead and have this to be 100 percent it's okay then let's go ahead and change this to a darker black That level pops up so let's make all of this you know under 100 percent cyan 100 percent yellow 100 percent black 100 percent then he, he hit okay so right from here we're gonna make this you know knife one it's okay there we have that so all we need that to do right now is to head over to our range then break drop shadow apart automatically break them we zoom down good Mind you, we are changing the what's it called? Let's change the background of this to so this. There we have this nice one. Good. So let's go ahead and have the corner rounding at its best to be uh, yellow. Doesn't have to be too colorful. So I think that's nice. Let's make it a bit wider. Good good can you see that so zoom down so let's arrange the rest of the desk you know beneath bring the uh, machine a bit downward good let's make it wider a bit good let's reduce this whole thing Convert this to bitmap group make a reduction pull it all up a little bit there you have that so let's have the rest of the test to be somewhere just like so let's call the address and all of this to be beneath good nice one so let's go ahead and arrange all of this so all we need that to do is to border it all up then let's have uh, something unique right here so what we're going to be doing is to drag this color on top of the object copy our properties there you have that so let's run it all up with the help of our shape tool round it can you see that so let's go ahead and cut this ctrl x then ctrl v when you get your destination good so position it you know right here so let's make it you know black nice one good So we are going to create magic right here. So let's go ahead and cut this off. Let's trim on the trim. Then reduce this a little bit. Then copy our properties on top of that. Then we have it shape up just like so. Good. Group it all up. Give it right alignment. There we have that. So let's lay emphasis on this as well go ahead let's add this to be bold then let's go ahead and uh, give it right alignment then let's create you know line in between all of this good set an outline to white it's on the f2f then change thickness of the outline to one it's okay so right now let's make a duplication when you get your destination you right click it copy paste likewise 
right click copy paste drag again right click copy paste so what we're gonna be doing is to just you know pull it in just like so likewise this to this extent likewise this to the this extent can you see that so let's zoom up So what we're gonna be doing now is to just you know position the fading a little bit up. Then let's go ahead and have this to be the down part. We have to make it you know white. Set our line to none. Then let's go ahead and click that into place. Then hold out key and adjust that. Set our line to white. Then let's go ahead and set the color of the text to black. Good. So what we're gonna be doing now is to just hit Ctrl K to break it in the pieces. So we are going to lay emphasis on this folding it all up then let's go ahead and have a symbol of uh, you know a uh, phone right there folding this a little bit good nice one so let's have this to be bold as well good Pull it down a little bit so let's have this symbol of phone then symbol of uh, what's it called of address drag that we get to this nation right click automatically copy paste then copy forward right uh, control R for repeat then stretch it downward you can see that so let's combine control L, then make it white make a reduction to that good nice one so let's create a symbol for a uh, house so copy inward right click when you get to destination then rotate right click automatically copy paste then pull this all up right click convert to curve then double click on this dot automatically we have that disappeared so position it downward then let's go ahead set title or combine then make it black good nice one position it downward the bits good so right now pull this all up a little bit then let's have demarcation in between so let's make this black stretch it downward there you have that nice one so let's zoom up to see the outcome of what we created so far so here is the finish point of what we have been designing so far so here we come to the end tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button with the subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that we can benefit from what we have shared so far as i always say in my channel see you in the next video bye for now